Hello guys, good afternoon. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, the SPC Tutorials, and my name is Dr. Joseph. In today's video, I shall be taking us calculus. There is a question on the board that you and I are to solve. If y equals 1 over 3x raised to power 2 minus x raised to power 2, then minus 3x plus 4. Then find the coordinates of the point where the gradient is what? 0. Now, the first thing you do, we know is dy dx, okay, dy dx, okay, you have dy dx. Now, you have this, thing, this is just like saying, okay, it's raised to power 3, sorry, it's raised to power 3, okay. Now, it's just like saying x raised to power 3 times 1, you have what, x raised to power 3 over 3, then minus s squared minus 3x plus okay any single number any single number that is standing alone is assumed to be what zero okay so that is it just a single word number is zero now we already have this to differentiate this expression now there's minus one as a power so minus this three will come over it becomes three oh god becomes three times x then three minus what one is minus one as a power then minus two times x is part two minus one like that then minus three x you have one minus what one is that not correct there's always minus one as what a power then having this this is going to be three okay this is over three please don't forget that over three and i have this will go into this all right so this three will cancel out this three so i'm left with what x three minus one is x raised by what two minus now two times x is what two x then 2 minus 1 is what? 1. So there's only for me to write 1. I'll just leave it like this. Okay. Then minus this, that, this 3 times 1 minus 1 is what? 0. It becomes what? x raised to power what? 0. But the law of indices says that anything that is raised to 0 is the same thing as what? 1. So 3 times 1 is what? 3. Alright. So this is just like this is a quadratic equation. This is what? A quadratic equation. Now that we have x squared minus 2x minus 3, the next thing we have to do is to look for two numbers such that we'll do the, the product of those two numbers, we'll get this constant. Then we'll do the difference or the sum of those two numbers. I'll get what? 2x. And the two numbers are what? 3 and what? 1. I have x squared minus 3x plus x is that not correct because 3 times this is just like saying 3 times 1 i have 3 then minus 3x plus x is what minus 2 then minus 3 equals what 0 so put this into two expression okay now I'll factorize, I'll have x, open brackets, x minus 3, right? Because x times x is what? x squared. Then x times minus 3 is what? Minus 3x. Then plus 1. Then 1 times, and I have what? x. Because 1 times x is something as what? x, that is 1x. But it would be wrong to say 1x. Just say what? x. Then minus 1 times three one times three and we have what three equals what zero i believe it's going well now since you have this you have minus x minus three x minus three you pick one becomes x minus three equals zero or i'm left with what x plus what one or x plus what one therefore this becomes x equals plus three or s equals what minus what one now that you have gotten x equals plus 3 and x equals what minus 1, you are not stopping there. You are going to put your values into this original word expression. Then for x equals plus 3, 
If we write CX, I'll put what? 3. Now this becomes 3 raised to 3, like x raised to 3 over 3, then minus 3 raised to 2, then minus minus uh, 3 times 3, then plus 4. Okay. And I have then it's this 27, 27 theory. Because 3 is power, 3 is what? 27, 3 times 3 times what? 3. Then minus 9, minus 9, then plus what? 4. Okay? So, which means that I can say 27 divided by 3 is going to be what? 9. So, 9 minus 9, minus 9 plus what? 4. Don't don't be too fast. Let's follow the rule of what board mass addition before what subtraction. This is plus plus nine and plus what four. So plus nine plus four is what thirteen. Then minus nine minus nine is what minus what eighteen. Therefore, the answer is what minus what five. Just follow it step by step. For x equals plus 3, the answer is what? Minus what? 5. Then for x equals minus 1. For x equals minus 1. Okay. We are going to be using the same procedure. We have x3 three over 3 minus s squared minus 3x plus 4. So which revise where I say x I put what minus one. So this minus one raised to power three over three, then minus open bracket minus one or raised to power two minus three minus one, then plus what four. You have to do this carefully. Now you have minus one times minus one times minus one, which is this first one, right? That's minus one into three places. Minus 1 times minus 1 is what? Plus 1. Then times minus 1. It is what? Minus 1. Therefore, now I have minus 1 over what? 3. In this particular part of it. Then minus 1 times minus 1. That is, you have this occurring twice. So minus 1 times minus 1 is what? Plus 1. So plus 1 times, just like saying, Minus so plus minus times plus is what minus then you have what one. So this is I'm breaking it to that be so minus times minus is what plus three times one is what three then plus what four then the ministry is progressing. Okay, from here I have plus three plus four is plus seven. I have minus one over three minus one plus what seven. So what will I do next? So minus one plus seven. Minus one plus seven is what? Uh, I have plus six. That is minus one over three plus what? Six over one. Okay. We cannot use board mass. We cannot use a that is we we'll look for the LCM of this and this. I have what? Three. Three into three is what? One. Then one times one is what? 1 then minus what 1 plus this to this is what 3 3 times 6 is what 18 this becomes minus 1 plus 3 is what 17 over what 3 so that is the answer which means when x is 3 the answer is what minus 5 but when x is minus 1 the answer is what 17 over 3 let me go through this one again so i'm going to be having minus 1 over 3 okay Minus 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7. Okay, minus 1, that is half plus 6 over 1. So that is for that. So at this point, we we'll call it a day. Thanks for watching and endeavor to subscribe.